Hey everyone, welcome to Deanna Creates. So in today's video, we are going to be working on a little project and we're gonna be using this little round that I got at Dollar Tree along with the Shabby Roses decoupage paper from Decoupage Queen. Along with some redesign with Prima molds, we're gonna be using this Regal Trimmings mold, and then this Avian Love bird mold. And oh my goodness, you guys, I, I am in love with this sweet little mold. So let's just get started. So you guys, um, I am excited about this project. I have been prepping it a little bit, and um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to paint um, our little birdies. And so um, I've already cast those with, with clay. You guys know that I use clay instead of resin, and I normally like to put it on my surface when my clay is still wet, you know, before it's dried, but, um, uh, because I was doing this project, I wanted to go ahead and cast it and have it all ready. And so I've had it just sitting on my surface and you know, I've pressed it down uh, to make sure that when I do glue it, um, it, it will you know, not be raised up or anything like that. So that's just something you can do if you're in a situation where you need to cast it first. Um, so I'm gonna be using a lot of different paint today and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint the little branches here and i'm going to be using the fusion mineral bayberry paint because i want to try to match this green color that's in this paper um and this the bayberry is a little darker but i think it'll give it a good contrast uh, for us to use so that's the first thing that we're going to do and i'm excited to be back you guys i've missed you um, I hope things have been going well. I have been busy, busy. Um, I have actually been working on my studio and um, kind of redoing it. So I found, I don't know if you guys have seen the um, Ikea desk hack. They're all over YouTube. And um, I knew that I wanted to go that direction. And so I started researching um, the countertops and the drawers that they all use and just all of those things. Um, I started researching that on, on YouTube and watching videos. And the more that I read about it, the more I realized that those countertops, I wanted the butcher block one, and those countertops are their particle board with like a wood veneer on top. And I just wasn't crazy about that. So I did some more research and I found a wood butcher block on Ho at Home Depot and it really wasn't that much more. And so I decided that's, that's what I was gonna do. And so I ordered that. And so that's what I've been working on. Um, I got some desk drawers. Um, from, not desk drawers, some filing cabinets from Office Depot. And they are, they have like a small drawer, a, you know, a more narrow drawer on the top where you can put like your pencils and your paper clips and all of those things. And then on the bottom, there are just regular filing cabinet drawers. And that's what I needed because I didn't really have a place to put like files and things like that. So I've been working on getting that, getting it ordered and getting it in. And then when it came in, uh, I painted it and I had to order the paint uh, cause I love the color of my desk that you guys normally see, which was, um, it's a plaid home decor paint, chalk paint. Um, and the color is called Grotto. And I could not find that locally, so I had to order it, of course, and that just took some time to get here. And so that's what I've been working on, and I really love it. I have it set up. It's a 10-foot butcher block that I got, and so it gives me a lot more space. So I have, I have a section of it that's for... Um, 
for like my work, for like my day job. And um, that's worked out really well. It's really, it really is a more comfortable space. And I have, like I said, the file room and all of that. So I'm super, super excited to have this in place. And I'm continuing just to work on it because I have I packed everything away pretty much in my studio and I'm trying to fit it, figure it all out and where to put things. I don't have a lot of storage for like bigger things in here. And so that's kind of my challenge as I'm figuring out what, what I want to do. It's a work in progress, but <clears throat> I am really excited. I have a lot more craft space and you know, that's important, right? <clears throat> So you guys tell me in the comments, tell me what your space looks like. What does your craft space look like? I was just using just furniture that I had and it worked fine for a long time, but I needed something a little more comfortable. Um, that was a better height and so forth. So I'm really pleased so far. Oh, you guys, this mold is so pretty. It is so, so pretty. You guys, have you used this Avian Love mold? I, um, I've had a, these molds for a long time and I'm really, I'm really trying this year to really use the things that I have because I tend to just do use the same things over and over. And so I'm really trying to, to do that. And that's part of, I think what's, as I'm cleaning and reorganizing in here, I think that's going to help, um, you know, cause you put things away and it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. And so we're just painting these little branches and we're gonna, we'll add to this so it gives it a little more dimension, but we're just getting this first, first like coat on here. And I broke one little piece off. So we're gonna have to glue that back on as we start gluing things. I think the molds just add, they just add so much to our projects. But if you guys, you know, if you don't have molds, then, you know, there's some other things that you can do. Um, and I try, I try to always give you guys some other ideas. Um, you know, you could get some, um, bird kind of cutouts. I've seen those at even Michael's and Hobby Lobby kind of chipboard birds. You could get those. You could just print off some bird forms, you know, off of the internet, Pinterest or, you know, anywhere and um, just put those on some cardstock and then just use like those little, those little, um, those round sticker things that kind of elevate. You guys have seen me use those before to just, you know, help to give it some dimension. So that's an idea if you don't have these molds. And then some, some uh, crafters, you know, will do castings and sell the molds on their website. Um, so that's, that's an idea. They use resin because they can mill that easier than the clay. Or you could look like at a thrift sale. Um, like my mom had these birds that were, I think they used to be like home interior and they were these little gold birds. And so like she gave those to me. And so you could look like at thrift stores or garage sales for something like that. Um, so lots of ideas if you don't have exactly the same things. I just want you to create some projects. And 
I love birds, which you guys know, so. All right. There's kind of the first coat of that for the branches. Yes, and we'll go back over it probably with a lighter color. And now we're gonna actually paint, um, we're gonna paint the little birds and we're gonna use this, this is a, the Amy Howard at home one step paint and this is in Metropolitan Gray. And I just thought this gray color would look really pretty up against that paper. It wouldn't like blend in, but it would, you know, just be enough of a contrast um, so that it's not the same color. Um, Cause I'm going for just kind of soft colors here. I don't want anything bright or, you know, really bold. So just get another paintbrush. And these birdies are so, so sweet. And so probably what I'm gonna do is I will go over these with, um, again, I told you guys, I have a lot of different paints up here. The Paint Contour Van Dyke Brown Glaze. I'll go over that just to like help the, the texture in the wings stand out. Oh yeah, this is a really pretty color. It's just a really, really soft gray, but it has like, you know, a white undertone to it. But I think when I go over it, I think that glaze will just really help it get in all these crevices and then it'll make the little birdies really, really, really pop. Hey guys, what have you been working on? Do you have any big projects that you're doing? Any, any big things in your home or your garden? I haven't even really started in the garden yet. But with the weather getting warmer, I definitely will. I'm ready. We had some cool days last week and I, it's really hard for me to just, when it's cold, it's hard for me to be motivated. That's why I don't think I've got much done that I've had on my list so far. So are any of you out there watching? Are you IOD fans? IOD has a, they've been doing some teasers on their next release coming out. If any of you guys are like IOD as well, tell me, tell me in the comments and let me know what you're hoping for in that release. I think I read there were like 15 items they're gonna have. Holy cow, that's a lot. And I will have to do some touch up probably on this, you guys, but I'm gonna get as much of it on here as I can so you guys can see. Where I missed a branch there. You guys know I love birds. And so this little mold is sweet. It's my first time using it. Had it all this time. I think I really just, I like the shapes of these and you can trim them, you know, you can trim them apart and use them like individually. I mean, the way they are, you could easily separate them.
All right, we are going to set these aside and let these dry. I didn't paint my little thing that I broke there either. And then we're gonna move on to the next part of it. And we are gonna paint our, we're gonna paint the background of this. So I already painted this trims mold and I'd use the um, Paint Couture um, Autumn Sage chalk paint for that. Um, and I wanted to have the contrast, so I did use the Vera at the Ballet under it, and that's what we're gonna paint this with, because I want, when I put that decoupage paper, I don't want this brown, this light wood color to show. I want more of that pink, even though it really won't, but I don't want any of that, um, I don't want any of that wood color to show through. So we're gonna paint that with this Vera at the Ballet. And if you guys like pink, this is this color. Oh my goodness. It's such a, it's such a pretty, pretty pink. It is, it is really, really a pretty pink. So if you guys, anybody out there that really likes pink, this is your color. It is just a perfect pink, I think. And like, I'm not going to do, I'm not, really you know going to be too particular with this because like i said we're going to put this decoupage paper over it and like i had um on my trim i have i have some places i've got to go back because you know the clay kind of shrinks um as it dries and so i have um I have some little pieces that they shrunk a little bit. And so I'll just come back with some more clay and kind of fill those in. And then I want to distress over that too. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. I like pink and green together. Do you guys like that? I just think it's such a, it's really the shabby chic look for sure, which I still really, really like. I've loved, I've loved that style for a really long time. And this little, this little piece from Dollar Tree is really, it's really cute. There's so many fun things you could do with it. And I don't know, these little, this little hanger, I don't know if we'll paint that or what we'll do with that. Probably I will at some point. And so again, I'm not, too worried about this. I just want this color so that it will just help my decoupage paper underneath. Have you guys been to Dollar Tree with the spring and summer decor? I have not. I was in there for something last week, but I didn't even look at that. I was on a mission for, I was actually getting stuff for my my desk drawers and my office for some organizations. So I didn't, uh, I didn't really even look. The store I was at, I didn't, I don't normally go to anyway. And it didn't look like they had a good selection. It looks like they were just really starting to put things out. I have a favorite Dollar Tree that's more close to me anyway that I always go to. But I'm trying to just. Use. I have a lot of Dollar Tree surfaces, so I'm trying to use those. So hard though, right? All when all the fun things come out, it's really hard. But that new release has some good things. I might get something of that. Okay. 
So that is that for right now. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dry this really quickly so that we can get our decoupage on there and let that be finishing up so we can so we can work on our little birdies. So just one second. Okay, well. All right, so now let's get this beautiful decoupage paper that we have right here. You guys, isn't this so pretty? Again, this is the Shabby Roses from Decoupage Queen. Uh, this is the A4 size. And um, I think it is so, so pretty. So I'm just gonna kind of score it around here like so. Just to get a good idea of what I want. And then I'm going to try to just use the water method and kind of tear around this part of it. This color is going to look so good with this. Let's see if we take it out if I can. Oh yeah, I can still see that. So let's just work on trying to get this. You know what, you guys, I might just cut this out because I don't know how well I might tear it too much with the water method. Let's just do that. I can always trim it more if I need to. This paper is so pretty. I was looking through all of my papers and I was trying to figure out what I want to do and the paper is what really inspired me. Um, I just thought, oh, that looks, it looks so springy and just so soft and And I'm always loving anything with pink in it, so. Let's see how we did. Oh, that's almost perfect. Oh, you guys, that's gonna be so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. There's a little bit of the white that shows up there, but that is totally okay. So we are just gonna take our satin top coat and that's what we're gonna decoupage with. Let's see, we'll use this. Birdies are coming along. It's almost perfect that it doesn't want to even come out. All right, let me straighten it here.
lift it up and come this way with it. I do want to make sure I got around the edges. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty. Very shabby chic looking. Also really vintage-y. I love the pink and the green together. So you guys tell me what, what kind of um, style do you like? Do you like shabby chic? Do you like modern, vintage? Of course, I love vintage too. What do you like the best when you are doing your creations and crafting? What is your like favorite kind of... This paper has, it has script in it too. So it definitely has all the things that I love. So you guys, you can see how you can take these Dollar Tree things and really turn them into something really, really beautiful. So, you know, if you don't have this particular decoupage paper, you could use tissue paper, just like tissue paper you use in gift wrap. There are so many, I mean, tissue paper has come like a long way. You can get it in so many beautiful patterns. You could use some scrapbook paper, if you, you know, if you have some pretty scrapbook paper, that would look really good too. Napkins, you could use a napkin. That would be really pretty on here. So again, just trying to give you some ideas of things that you can do. Because I don't expect you guys to have all of these same things that I do. We all have different craft supplies. but I want you to use them like I'm trying to do. What good are they stuffed in a drawer? And I always want to be respectful of your time. So that's why, you know, I try to think about that when I do my projects. And so that's why I try not to get into a lot of really complicated things. And then that's why I try to also do some of the prep work ahead of time because I know everybody's busy and there's a lot going on and I know like I said I just want to be respectful of your time because I know it's hard to watch long videos sometimes Trying to press it down here, make sure I don't have any wrinkles. Oh, you guys, look. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. I really, really like it. Okay, let's set this aside and let it dry. And then let's keep working on our, our little birdies here. And they are looking pretty good. 
And so we're gonna go back to our little branches here that we were doing and try to, um, try to touch those up and then add a little bit of a contrast to them. So I'm gonna use the Autumn Sage chalk paint that I used on that trim just to kind of come around here a little more and just kind of, like kind of add to it. And then I'm gonna take a baby wipe and just kind of wipe that back because I wanna give it that you know, I don't want it to look like it's just all painted. I want it to be more realistic and kind of, you know, tree branches aren't like a perfect color. And that looks a lot better already. This is a very pretty color green. I'm really into greens, you guys, right now. I think because of it just reminds me so much of nature and all the things. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our glaze our Van Dyke Brown and we are going to go over the little birdies with that <clears throat> just in a really 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 light really really light because I want to bring those out those feathers and all the things. And then we're going to just start to wipe that back so that we can see. Oh, yeah, you guys. See, that just brings it to life when we do that. Oh, my goodness. I love this so much. You know, I've watched Robin for I don't know how long. And she always talks about the Van Dyke Brown. And I finally, finally got some. And I don't know what I've been waiting for. Because it makes such a difference. Oh my goodness, I love it. All right, we're gonna do that on all of them. And we're gonna do that on the tree branches too. This little one here, she didn't have a lot of texture on her. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna wipe it and, oh God, you guys. That is so perfect. Oh my goodness. So perfect. Just amazing the difference that cat can, can make.
gives your piece a whole different look. Okay, now we're gonna do that over the branches too. They don't have as much opportunity with texture on them like the birds do, but don't wipe it back and Oh, you guys, look how pretty. Can you guys see? Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I think I wiped too much back on this one. Is it so pretty? Isn't it amazing just what like a few little things can do to add to the detail of this? All right, you guys, I love that. And so now let's see what it will look like. Oh, I've got to put this, I've got to do that one. Let's see what it's going to look like on our little piece here. Oh my goodness, y'all. That is so cute. Okay, y'all, well, we're gonna paint this other little one and then we're gonna glue that on because I love it. I love it. Let's paint this little piece here so we can glue it all the same together. And I didn't get any little words, you guys, but I think I may come back and try to find something to put at the top because I think it, it might need that. I'm not sure, though. What do you guys think? I think it needs some words up there. I think it's pretty just by itself. It it's, might be pretty just by itself. I debated about putting moss under it, too, but I don't think I'm going to do that either. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna dry this so that we can wrap this up. And then let's put that Van Dyke Brown on top of that. And then we'll get it all glued on, y'all. I love it. I really like it, y'all. <clears throat> okay, get another baby wipe and wipe my hands off. And then we're just gonna glue that down. So you guys, just think about these types of things. Um, as you, you know, as you're just going through your, your stash of things, think about what you have and how you can use some of that. And um, 
to make something really, really beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna use this wood glue. I like to use the wood glue. Um, I have this on hand. When this is over, I might get me some of the, the tight embond one, but I have this and so it works really well on the, on the molds. Um, you know, it's real thick, so it, it does good against the molds. So that's, I just, again, I'm just using what I have right now. And so I just like to put the glue all on the back of it, everywhere I can. Let me move this so I don't get glue on it. It would be a shame to have done all of that work and have a glob of glue right in the middle of it. You could use um, E6000 on these to, um, like I said, I this has worked well for me. because it's something I just already had. And you know, unless you do a lot of projects, it takes a while to go through a thing of wood glue, but mine is actually getting pretty empty. So you guys, I used the Joey clay for this and I really, really like that clay. Um, I like it even over the creative paper clay, which is what I've always used. Okay. Let's move our thing back over here. And then we're gonna put this down. I gotta remember, I got my other little piece I gotta glue here. Oh, you guys, I love this. All right, let me get this little one here that broke. I need to put some on the bottom of it, Diana. Alright you guys, I will just let this sit and let it dry and then I will be done with it. I do have to fix these, um, but see where I told you that I, where I laid it on there, like it lays, it's laying down on there perfectly. So what I will do is once this is dry, I will come back and like I mentioned, um, my little, where I put my molds on here, there are a couple places where I put them together where they kind of, you know, the, the, the clay shrunk. So I'll come back and I will fix those little and I'll probably go over this with Van Dyke Brown too, just to like tie it all in together. But I love it. I think it came out so so cute i may need to adjust it a little bit and i am very very pleased with it 
Don't you love it when something like you have an idea and it turns out the way that you want? So I would love for you guys to leave me in the comments if you have done a project similar to this, if you've used any of these molds or whatever ideas that you have for these little Dollar Tree rounds. I would love for you guys to share that. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Love and light to you all. And we'll see you again real soon.